Do you have brother Ma Munther? Do you have any brother Mitri? Do your friends here at Christmas Church? Thank you for your warm hospitality. Throughout the week, we stayed at the guest house and for your warm hospitality this morning. In fact, some of us have to leave from worship for the airport today. In this season of Lent, as Jesus walks toward his cross, as the people of Gaza and you here too, very, very heavy crosses, we members of the Stones Cry Out delegation want you to know that we are here to walk with you in these dire and difficult days, to pledge our support for you, to stand in solidarity with you. We are 23 church activists and leaders from all around the United States, representing 12 different denominations. Many, is, many of us have been here often. Some of us have lived here and worked here. Some of us are here for the first time. All of us are here today humbly in the spirit of repentance, knowing that our tax dollars, our UN votes, our country's weapons have contributed to your suffering. We've come to listen, we've come to learn, so that when we return, we leave here directly for Washington, D.C., for meetings with congressional leaders, the State Department, and others. When we return to our churches, we can bear witness, we can bear witness to what you are asking us to tell them. So we have come here humbly to listen to you. We also understand that the church has too often been complicit. Our churches, the Western church, tragically from many churches on the left, masters of the art of peace talking, lukewarm, impotent silence, not wanting to offend. And on the right, the cross wrapped in two flags, ours and Israelis, all, all enforced by a gun. We want you to know that we are here not to offer a surface solidarity of private, no risk prayers behind closed church doors, rather a solidarity that thrusts us into the public spaces that impacts decision makers and policy makers. We are here not to be peace talkers, but peacemakers, peace with justice. So we also come here boldly in a spirit of solidarity because it's your resilience and your resistance, your steadfastness and your courage that embolden our own. Costly discipleship, Von Haber said. Costly discipleship. Gaza, Palestine is the moral fulcrum of our time. It calls upon our hearts, each one of us here, and it calls upon the church's heart. Our humanity is being tested. Our morality is being tested. Our faith is being tested. So we pledge to you that we will remain strong in our support of the people of Gaza, and strong in our support of you. We pledge to you that we will remain strong against the genocidal assault on Palestinian culture and tradition, on Palestinian memory and Palestine's future, on the very idea of Palestine itself. We pledge to you that we will remain strong in the face of empire's war, empire's war, against Palestinian liberation, self-determination, and human dignity. As you and your pastor so powerfully reminded the world this past Christmas, if Emmanuel, God with us, is to mean anything at all during these catastrophic days, it's that Christ is dodging bombs 
Christ is in every suffering child. Christ is on every operating table. Christ is under the rubble. It is uh, your faith and courage, but even more, it is the same Christ under the rubble with all who are suffering, with all who are suffering, who are, who's inspiring and compelling and thrusting us into acts of solidarity with you in resistance in our own country. It's our shared hope against all hope that the cross of this same Christ will peak its head over the horizon, a new day dawning where it will rise up and claim its hard-won victory over the powers of empire, evil, and death. That checkpoints aren't the last word. That humiliations aren't the last word. That mass graves and orphan children aren't the last word. That settlers aren't the last word. That apartheid is not the last word. And that Nakba will not be the last word for Palestine because our God has the last word. And a new creation of self determination and freedom, freedom will rise up out of the rubble. So on this Lenten Sunday, as your sisters and brothers in Christ, in this place of his birth, let there be no doubt among you and among us, your friends, no doubt that we hear you. We hear the cries of God's children, and we hear the cries of your children, because they are our children, because every child is our child. And we are with you. We are together with you in an unshakable bond of Samoon. This is our shared faith. This is what animates us. This is our work together. And this is why we've come. Thank you.